Beyond that gate lies Comstock. Lady Comstock, how lovely to see you! Wonderful of you to make the journey, especially considering your painful death 19 years ago. Lady Comstock. The dress. The thing has mistaken me for my mother. Your fingerprints do not seem to be your own today, Lady Comstock. Are you unwell? This isn't going to work. I think it can. Your mother's dead, Elizabeth. Yes. I think it's time I paid my respects. Let's head to where she's buried. Miss Elizabeth? Let me have a look. Done. There's the graveyard, where my mother's buried. What are we looking for? There it is. Open it. Okay. It's your mother's grave. They have her preserved in an airtight chamber. Her fingerprints will get us into Comstock House. She's your mother. A mother who abandons their child doesn't draw a lot of sympathy in my book. Take a moment to think about what you're doing. There. Will you open the door or do I have to go in without you? Her. How are you, Mother? All locked up in there, huh? Looks like you and I have some common ground. Let me do it. No. Let me do it. Look on the other side. Shepherd, and he has led you astray. Uh, what I do, uh, I do for uh, love. Uh, uh, what liars does uh, not cringe uh, to see their coven pain, but spare the rod, spoil the child. If you won't listen to me, perhaps you will listen to your mother.
where where did she go? Hold on, you need to rest for me. No, I'm getting that hand. Elizabeth? Why is your mother a ghost? She's not. He he used me to, to power that device. He opened up some kind of tear. What am I? My god. Is she the source of my power? But what is she? Alive or dead? Why do you ask what? When the delicious question is when? The only difference between past and present is semantics. Lives, lived, will live. Dies, died, will die. If we could perceive time as it truly was... What reason would grammar professors have to get out of bed? Like us all, Lady Comstock exists across time. She is both alive and dead. She perceives me both. She finds this condition disagreeable. Perception without comprehension. is a dangerous combination. Look! Footsteps. She goes to unfinished business. We have to follow her. Convince her to open the gate to Comstock House. It's a shame you have need of her to enter Comstock House. Frankly, she doesn't seem all that cooperative. There is a way to bring her to reason. Three truths you must discover first. Truths which, in this world, Comstock has destroyed. If only one of you had the power to alter time and space. That would be a blessing, wouldn't it? Hmm. Off about Lady Comstock. Yeah, I notice. No, you don't understand. She she doesn't belong here. I brought something through. I'm just I'm not so sure it was her. I know that place. That's Albert Fink's house. I I love his music. I wonder if he's in there.
Much obliged. Ugh. This. Really? That little old lock. Got it. Doctor ordered. Comstock has sabotaged our contraption. Yet, we are not dead. A theory. We are scattered amongst the possibility space. But, my brother and I are together, and so I am content. He is not. The business with the girl lies unresolved. But perhaps there is one who can finish it in our stead. It's a tear. There's something in there. Should I open it? Comstock seems to have been made sterile by simple exposure to our contraption. A theory. Just as sexual reproduction can de-emphasize the traits of each parent, so goes the effect of multiple realities on our own. Your traits dissipate until they become unrecognizable or cease to exist. interest in our dear prophet is non-existent. And Madame Lutess. Furthermore, the man is quite sterile. It's a lie. Come here, you little bastard! I want her out of my house! Sterile. They weren't my parents. Then what were you to them? The child that they decided to imprison. She deserves whatever Comstock did to her. What did you mean before when you said Lady Comstock didn't belong here? She's almost feral. It's like she's a reflection. Um, I don't know. ...product of our little contraption. But I think she found that less believable than her delusion. Lady Comstock seems to believe the child is a result of some errant act of carnality between myself and her beloved prophet. I told the poor woman the truth, that the child was a product of our little contraption, but I think she found that less believable than her delusion.
lockpicked. Come on, give me something challenging. All yours. Thank you. 
to do with my mother. More money. Okay. What's that? 50% of everything people earn here goes right to Comstock as a tithe. I gotta get me a job in the profit business. Cipher written on the stationery. Hudson's Tailors. Maybe that's where the code book is. Seem to go down to the vault. I 
Got a lock, needs picking. Give me a second. Done. Want to hold on to this? Take this. some money. Want it? Okay, catch! There's a lockpick over there. If I do this, this uh, sabotage, or 
all their patents? All of them, Mr. Fink. Now, why does the Prophet want these two killed? For the same reason Lady Comstock lies buried. The child. And why does he want me to do it? Because only you can make it seem an accident. I don't think that's the real Lady Comstock. I think she's... I think she's a combination of herself and my feelings towards her. What do you mean? I'm just so angry. At her and, and at my father. I think she's her, but she's also partly me. I, I'm not even sure I understand it myself. The Archangel tells me that Columbia will only survive so long as my line sits the throne. Yet Lady Comstock produces no child. I have done what a man can do, yet there is no child. I've asked Lutessa about the matter, but even she refuses to help. Can you open this? Okay. There.
I want to hold on to this. Help with this. Looks simple enough. It's done. You hold on to this. Of it. One doesn't expect a picture of one's cause. To come across so lifelessly. That's insanity. What proof would you have that Mr. Fink would hurt the Lutesses? The Lutesses told me. The Lutesses? When? Yesterday. Yesterday morning. Rupert! They've been dead these seven days! who knew the truth was better dead than alive. I'm not even his daughter. I'm just some specimen to be poked and prodded. No, you are not. Elizabeth, listen to me. What you've been through, ain't nobody in the world. Jess is not my mother. Neither are you. He killed you both. Yes, you me. I know you hate me for not being your daughter. And I hated you for not being my mother. Go ahead.
asked me to bring you back, but I brought back a version of you from the reality that I had built up in my own head. He pretended to love you, like he pretended to love me. I am not your husband's bastard. I am his victim. My days of victimhood are done. We must forgive each other. Because there is one far worse than you or I. The prophet killed me. Because you wouldn't keep his secret. Elizabeth! Can you hear me? 
Get your hands off of me! Please take me back to my tower! Please, please! Some men dream of money. What the hell? Some men dream of love. My father dreamt of a flood of fire. We were given Eden, and we turned it into Sodom. Why do we deserve salvation? The Lord gave Noah a fish in the form of a flood, but he was not so easy on me. Said prophet, I want you to train a nation of fishermen. Listen, I just want to see the girl. Doesn't matter. Just gotta get to the warden's office. Please, please, what is this? Just, just take me back to my tower. 
You're sorry for that now, child. Your father gave you a lovely home, and you chose to destroy it. He's not my father! I suppose the siphon is a kind of leash. Yes, my father put it on me. But when the time came, neither did I remove it myself. What would happen if I took off the leash? And I found I was as obedient as ever. Like my father, I could see all that would be, might be, and must not be. Our minds are born, festering with sin. Some are so blighted, they will never find redemption. The mind must be pulled up from the roots. My children are without blame, without fault, and without choice. For what is the value of will? Spirit is found wanting. Child, would you like to pray with me? They're hurting me. Please just let me go. We're going to cure you. I'm not sick. Your spirit is. All I ever wanted is to see you live up to your potential. <laughs> <laughs>